Electronics and uh, communication engineering. Sir. This was uh, from the Tirupati University. Sri Vinkateswa University from Tirupati. Campus. Yes, sir. Not a private college. No, sir. Campus. This was in 2012 you completed. Yes, sir. After that, what all have you done in the last eight years? Uh, so I've been preparing for civil services since uh, my graduation. And uh, after my third attempt, I've started mentoring some civil services and other aspirants also, sir. So, from the last years, I have been doing this teaching and also preparing simultaneously for civil services. Uh, is this the first time you qualified for interview? This is my second time, sir. When was the previous interview? In 2017, sir. You didn't write the exam in 18? No, I have taken some break because this is my last attempt. So, 19 you took based on which? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes. So you have two hobbies, I think. Yes, sir. One of them is traditional agricultural practices. Yes, sir. Tell me more about this hobby. What is this hobby? So actually, I have developed this hobby because I have come from agriculture background. Uh, I have seen my parents and my brothers using uh, high amount of uh, pesticides and chemicals. In fact, uh, one of my state, one statement made my brother while he was cultivating mirchi. That mirchi is all about. Uh, Where is this land? In Kadapa district, sir. Oh, it's a big district. Which area? It's uh, right? Nandi Mandalam village, uh, near Papagni River, sir. Near Papagni. Papagni River. Comes out of which mandal? Uh, Pellimari mandal. Pellimari mandal. So near Vempalli. Uh, oh, Vempalli. Yes. So the Papagni river takes a takes belt. Takes a belt, yeah. It's an Ajaswell, Sanjay. Gandhi temple. Gandhi temple, yes. So some it's somewhere near there. Yes, sir. Is it irrigated land or groundwater? Ground based on groundwater. Okay. So your brother said? Said that uh, when he was cultivating mirchi, uh, like every three, four days, once he is using lots of chemicals, he made a statement that uh, mirchi is all about chemicals. In fact, we are eating chemicals, not mirchi. Uh, so that prompted me to dig into the details of uh, like what farmers were doing earlier days. Uh, like what about the pesticides, nutrients or weedy sites. So I have got that interest and uh, slowly I am reading about zero budget natural farming and the practices used by the farmers in the ancient times, how they could sustain the agriculture in some prosperous way. Uh, so right now I am trying to explore it and trying to implement it in my uh, field also, sir. Let us now continue with Mirchi. Yes, sir. So before the advent of this excessive pesticides, yes, insecticides and weedicides, yes, sir. what were the farmers of Karpa doing? Are they growing mirchi at all or no? Actually, Kalapa belongs to the arid and semi-arid region. Uh, so it was a military region actually, sir. Farmers used to grow lots of millets. They never grew uh, mirchi? Mirchi, they were in a small scale. In a small scale, like small and marginal farmers, just for uh, maybe half an acre or less than that. Were they using any pesticides or fungicides? Uh, Yes, that was I was more interested in. I was asking my farmers, my in village also I have asked my elders. Uh, they were saying we were uh, using like uh, like cow dung manures and all. They used to do that. But today that has decreased. Sir. Like uh, they used to. Even my family have seen growing up. Uh, like we have used to have buffaloes and all. We used to use uh, dung and all from coming from them. Uh, but today the population has decreased. The uh, buffaloes. Uh, even myself, my family does not have uh, buffaloes. So, so you haven't found the answer yes. to my question. Yes, yes sir. Yes, I am more uh, interested in finding out. Uh, but I'm not getting the details, sir. I'm talking to many people, but I'm not getting exact things. In the olden days, yes, the tribals used to do something called the shifting cultivation or podo cultivation or slash and burn method. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, sir. Do you think those uh, farming techniques uh, of leaving some land for a few years to go back again to ensure that natural fertility is regained yes. and grow something is relevant today? Shifting cultivation has been practiced since generations, sir. Uh, the basic objective is to regain the fertility uh, over a period of time. Uh, but today, I don't think so that is more relevant in today's context. 
because of commercialization of agriculture and uh, losing out the traditional practices shifting agriculture has become more of uh, uh, as an activity not as a cultural practice uh, so today i don't think so that is more relevant and uh, lack of awareness in fact is uh, pushing the tribal people into this direction sir. similarly in order to ensure that the productivity of the land improves yes sir. using fertilizers to get more income for the farmer yes sir. And farmers are suffering yes sir is appropriate as long as the overall use of fertilizers beyond the proportions that is recommended the yes. npk percentage yes, no, because urea subsidy is more yes, use more area yes sir so do you still think that uh, whatever that pallet or uh, the zero food natural zero based natural farming experts yes, are suggesting yes sir there is concern against it so do you still believe this is going to be good for both individuals and the environment yes sir so uh, as it has been the norm to use chemical fertilizers uh, i don't think so that uh, just use of chemical fertilizers uh, is going to be more sustainable uh, in my opinion i believe that there should be a balance of uh, use of both the chemical fertilizers as well as the traditional practices we can't all together make uh, it zero uh, because it takes some time because the farmers have been adjusted the system has been adjusted so completely making zero with respect to chemical fertilizers uh, is not going to the option in the near future so i i see a balance in the direction sir you know there's something about the tangential use of ground water where the canal flows and there's a very well open well and gravel form and you are expected to resort to conjunctive use of ground water what do you mean by that sorry sir i have not heard that word yes this university where you study yes. is it a central university or a state university or a ttd funded university and okay. what is the difference between these three uh, uh, sri venkateswar university tirupati it is state funded university sir state government funded uh, and <coughs> Central University is established uh, by the, uh, the, the Act of uh, Parliament, and it is largely funded by the central government. But in Tirupati there is no central university. There are central universities, sir. In Tirupati. Yes, sir. I think uh, there is Sanskrit University. I am not very sure. Sanskrit University, which is for, uh, of central government. Uh, I think there is one central university. I could not recall at this point of time. So there is only Sanskrit University. Sanskrit University. Sanskrit University is also a CTD funded university. I have not. What is the private university? How is it established? Uh, it is established based on the guidelines of uh, the University Grants Commission, and uh, where the UGC will give the status of deemed university or a private, completely autonomous university status. Uh, What is the difference between the deemed university and the private university? What uh, enabling the legislative environment is required to establish a private university? I'm not very clear about uh, those uh, okay. details. Why are there more cows found in the Israel Sima Belt in Chitur and Kalpa than buffaloes? Even buffaloes are also there. Uh, the like numbers. Num uh, number wise, uh, cows uh, uh, have more. Uh, so. They might have adjusted to the climate, sir. Like no, regarding the fields require a lot of water. There is a controversy about non-Hindus being allowed to work in activities and institutions uh, in the Tirupati area where you study. Yes, sir. What is your take on that? Uh, so, uh, TTD as an institution, which is established by the Government Act, so it is it should be open to everyone uh, to work. Uh, if it is uh, the recruitment based on merit basis, uh, definitely I believe that there should be both Hindus and non-Hindus can be allowed to work, given the proper code of conduct uh, which can be followed in the premises. But uh, do you expect the Muslim to go and do achchakatham or pujas in the center center? So, so are there no spe yes. separate specialized categories of posts under the constitution itself? Yes, sir. Apart from the core, uh, the traditional archaic forms, the remaining activities can be given to the non-Hindus also. But why is there controversy now? So I have not been gone through that controversy. Uh, so maybe during my graduation, I have not come across that. Uh, yes. Sir. See, there is a crop failure every alternate year. Yes, so uh, how do the farmers get compensated? 
so crop failures are happening because of uh, the uh, the climate change related events uh, the government is uh, giving them enough compensation uh, with respect to the uh, the crop damages happening during cyclones or drought and all. Uh, per acre, uh, the state government is getting funds from the central government under National Disaster uh, Response Funds as well as SGRA funds uh, to compensate the uh, damages being done. Uh, and second one is the insurance facilities being provided to the farmers also under uh, uh, the uh, the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana. The government is giving the compensation to the farmers. Is it working well? So the objective was to cover 50% of the farmers, but with, if, if you take the target and all, uh, there are some loopholes uh, which has been highlighted by the Parliamentary Standing Committee uh, in 2018. Uh, and uh, according to the committee also, that uh, the scheme has not been implemented properly at the grassroots level uh, because of lack of awareness among the farmers. And uh, the companies are also reluctant to pay the, uh, the insurance claims to the farmers. So, there is a mixed picture, sir, in that direction. But government has changed the rules in the recent times uh, to make it voluntary for the farmers and also creating more awareness. Uh, using of technology also has been, uh, been mandatory uh, so that even uh, a single farmer who is getting affected by these uh, kind of activities uh, should be uh, implemented. Overall, I see a mixed picture in this uh, scheme, sir. You said voluntary. Are the farmers being forced to pay the children's premium before? And now it has become voluntary. Earlier when farmers were getting loans from the, the banks, uh, they were forced to pay the premiums as a part of these credit facilities. But now they have given the option to be more voluntary in nature. What is the premium that the farmers pay for different types of crops? Yes. Any idea? So you are asking about the yeah, quantum. quantum. Uh, the percentage of uh, yes, sir. the total value that is insured. Yes, sir. It is 2% uh, for the rabi crops, 2% of the crop uh, uh, value insured and 1.5% for the kharif uh, crops and 5% for the horticultural crops. You are part of anti-ragging committee. Yes sir. I am of the view sir. certain amount of ragging within acceptable norms yes, builds bonds of friendship which are lifelong. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. The people are at me in the academy yes, are my lifelong friends. Yes, sir. Now, either we are breeding, this is my opinion, yes, sissies are saying, oh no, everything should be gentle and sweet and nice, like that. I should say that if you be more mentally robust, of course there are acceptable norms. Yes, yes, yes. What is your take on this subject? So, in fact, I am also very uh, lucky to have the same experience as you, sir. Uh, in fact, I was ragged and uh, in a very uh, cordial manner. Like uh, I got very good uh, seniors. Uh, uh, they have taken to me hotel, they have learned me how to have dinner, how to have uh, st uh, even studies also they help me a lot. So I do accept that uh, ragging till some extent with some norms uh, is going to build the bonds between seniors and juniors. Uh, but uh, there is one uh, point also that uh, lack of uh, awareness among the uh, seniors and juniors, sometimes they are crossing the line. Uh, so ragging with some stipulation can definitely be uh, a path for good friendship. So would you educate zero ragging now? Because they don't know the line to cross. I don't uh, take it zero ragging uh, as a good option. There should be some amount of ragging as an interaction between the students. But the law is... Yes sir, the law is obviously... Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Zero ragging. Yes sir. Because zero ragging. Yes sir, zero ragging. And, yes, sir. and people are encouraged to report. Yes, sir. Law, law also should can be changed in this direction where ragging can be properly defined. Uh, uh, defines, uh, ragging. There should be some there can be some changes in the ragging, sir. Uh, the definition of uh, ragging also interaction with the seniors and juniors. Uh, maybe that kind of uh, provisions can be made. You're saying the law has to be amended. Yes, sir. Def yes, sir. You are playing it very safe. The ideal, there should be some nice introduction. Introduction is not ragging, by the way. 
Right. <laughs> Kalau orang persis, kita selalu bukan kartik. Enak lagi mu dia. And an unemployed, uh, educated youth is very dangerous entity. Yes, sir. Uh, so why, why do you think this is happening? Yes, it's a sorry picture in India that we are creating many graduates, many engineers, uh, but we could not provide them proper skills and employment opportunities. Uh, some reasons I could uh, recollect, uh, I could think of is, uh, with the personal experience, I can say that uh, we don't have proper uh, industry required skills, uh, which are actually not taught in the colleges also, because the curriculum which we uh, studied has been designed way back in 1970s and 80s, and we are following the same technologies and all, even today. So that lack of exposure to the uh, latest technologies uh, is one point I uh, felt. Uh, so, for that point, we should uh, we can talk about industry academic linkages so that curriculum can be updated frequently. Uh, second point is even from the student side, uh, especially uh, engineering graduates, uh, there is a sort of uh, that we have achieved something, we are now graduates. That kind of attitude is also there where we, they are not in a position to uh, acquire later skills. They are always wanting to depend on some institution or not. So that is what we lacked in our colleges also. That enthusiasm to learn the things, what industry requires, what uh, uh, the economy is providing the opportunities, what kind of technologies have been updated. So I see a problem from student side also. Uh, third one is lack of infrastructure in uh, uh, colleges. In fact, from I am coming from university, I have seen that we don't have proper breadboards uh, to design electrical circuits in our uh, labs. Uh, because the poor funding of the colleges, lack of uh, proper infrastructure, there is a third uh, uh, reason I could uh, relate. Uh, even the pedagogical skills to be sorry that uh, the pedagogical skills have also reduced uh, till my second year had got very good uh, professors but later on the quality of uh, teaching has also been reduced because of various reasons. Uh, so that's why even though we are creating lots of engineers we could not give them proper skills uh, because of these factors. Recently, Turkish president was in Pakistan. Yes, sir. On a visit. Yes, yes, sir. And he said he was very concerned about the state of uh, Kashmir, yes, in yes, Indian occupied Kashmir. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. And Malaysia echoed this statement, saying, referring to this kind, this part of the JNK as yes, Indian occupied Kashmir. Yes, sir. Yes. What is your take on this? Why is it happening? Why is Turkey not so and so good turn with India? What about Malaysia? How is, what has it got to do with us anyway? So Indian government stand is that uh, Jammu and Kashmir is an integral part of uh, India. Yeah. Uh, and the countries like Turkey and Malaysia uh, have made some statements that uh, there are violations of human rights in Jammu and Kashmir. No? Uh, so, I don't think so. That is a clear uh, statement or a statement with clear uh, understanding of the situation in Jammu and Kashmir. Yes, sir. these and are public statements. You don't understand the realities and all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anything beyond that? I think they have some interest in Pakistan because having the. Uh, what interest does it have in Pakistan? You know, all the countries. To have some say in the South Asian region. Uh, Turkey always want to have that say in the Jammu and Kashmir affairs. Sorry? Uh, Turkey uh, as a country want to... Uh, what interest does it have in Pakistan? I don't know. So there are economic relations between Turkey and Pakistan. Okay. Uh, so uh, with that idea they are trying to appease uh, Pakistanis also that uh, uh, India is not doing well in Jammu and Kashmir or not. Uh, and even the population, uh, the culturally and uh, religiously they are very uh, having strong affinity towards Pakistan. Uh, Turkey people, Turkeys uh, have a strong affinity towards Pakistan. Population wise, uh, cultural wise. Do you think so? There is no difference between Pakistani culture and Indian culture. Yes, sir. Talk about yes, 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 yes. 
if it was so good, Turkey would have been on the same wicket with us culturally. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I could not recollect beyond this, but uh, I, I will think about it, sir, because. Yes. Right. Uh, so, what do you attribute to the success of our King Delhi? In the recent trip? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the uh, the uh, Ahmadmi Party has uh, uh, started some initiatives, uh, uh, providing some good governance to the people of Delhi. Uh, so I can list out uh, some initiatives like providing uh, good quality education. Almost 25% of the budget of Delhi has been spent on education sector, providing good quality education to the people of uh, uh, Delhi, the students of Delhi. So that is one large factor which has contributed to the success of our party. Uh, second one is some of the good governance initiatives taken in this direction, like Mahala clinics being established, taking health sector also, primary health sector to the people. And uh, AAP has also uh, taken some initiatives uh, like providing uh, safe drinking water uh, to an amount of 20,000 liters at a free of cost and uh, even good quality electricity that has been the major factor. So the first point I can relate is the good governance initiatives have contributed to the success of Delhi, uh, to the Ahmadi uh, party in Delhi. Uh, second one is the educated population, uh, the young population. Uh, uh, they could relate themselves to the, the manifesto of AAP uh, to provide good governance, corruption free governance and all. So that has created some advantage for Ahmadi party. Uh, Third factor, the anti-CA movement, uh, I believe that there could be some advantage for Ahmadmi party for uh, uh, taking that advantage of not either taking a stand or pro stand or against stand. Uh, that have helped the Arvind Kejriwal's government uh, uh, to strike a chord with the Delhi voters. Uh, and obviously there are some identity politics also coming into picture uh, because of the polarization happening in Delhi. So that has given a say for the Ahmadi party. And the fourth factor I can see is the Congress party which has a very strong uh, position in uh, the, the Delhi once upon a time. Uh, could not uh, uh, get some electoral mileage this time. So those voters could have tilted towards Ahmadi party, I believe, I feel that sir. Generally the detractors of Ahmadi party, they say that it is all because of the freebies. Pukat Pani, Pukat Bijli, yes, and uh, funding, you know, all the yatras and things like that. Yes, Money being given to such activities. Yes, <clears throat> so it is all things to all people, that's why they want. So in that context, I was just wondering, how does one draw a line between freebies and welfare skills? Yes, so you want me to elaborate on the difference between freebies and... No, how does one actually distinguish yes. between a freebie and a welfare yes, sir. So freebie is one such thing which is, is there given to office. Is criterion by which we can say, yeah, this is a welfare measure, this is a freebie. Freebie which is purely meant for garnering votes. Yes, sir. Um, on a prima facie, it is very difficult to have a fine, tune, a fine line between them because it's a very fine line. Uh, but uh, if we can create proper awareness among the uh, voters, citizens, uh, they can distinguish it. Uh, for example, any uh, uh, freebie, for example, any freebie uh, which is given to the people, generally freebie means which uh, gives short term advantage, short term benefits to the people. Say for example, distributing a, a mixer or giving a cell phone uh, can be given as a, can be uh, said as a freebie. Uh, but welfare measure is uh, one which is more sustainable, uh, which has a long term impact on the people. Uh, so on a, on a prima facie it is very difficult for the people to understand this. Uh, uh, but okay, once we create… In what circumstances can something be given free and in what circumstances should something, you know, on the welfare front be done? Yes, sir. If you can take one example. Uh, take your own example yes, here on Andhra Pradesh. Yes, sir. The kids given to the government, uh, to the, the pregnant and lactating woman in the government uh, hospitals uh, 
have actually helped the uh, people to reduce the MMR and IMR. Uh, so even though we can say that it is a freebie, but actually it has benefited the people uh, to have hygiene uh, in the government hospitals and even personal hygiene. Uh, but on the other hand, the welfare, uh, the freebies, uh, like distribution of uh, some saris and all, liquor, all these things, is not going to have a significant long term impact on the people. I think anybody is giving liquor free. Liquor is off record. Yes. <laughs> it's long term yes. <laughs> So the distinction is actually difficult, sir, and uh, very difficult. Uh, so I can relate. I can. Is there, remember. Is there anything by some kind of a criterion can be limited? Some kind of a criterion can be can be yes. laid down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what should, should be the guiding factor? To give something as a freebie and yes, to, you know, initiate some welfare measure. Yes, sir. We can definitely come up with some guidelines. Uh, so one point I can really, uh, can think of is uh, the burden on the exchequer also. We have to think about it uh, because we have to take in a long term picture how it is going to impact the economy and society. What is the fiscal space the fiscal available? Available to the government. Yes, definitely we have to take that into consideration. Okay. Uh, after, if it is, uh, if the government is capable. Uh, the government is capable. It can go till some extent without affecting the long term sustainability of the economy. Mm -hmm. So the fiscal impact. Uh, second one, we should think about the larger impact on the society and the weaker sections especially. How it is going to impact the weaker sections. Uh, as I said the example, uh, the kits given to the pregnant woman have actually reduced MMR in Telangana and even Andhra Pradesh. Uh, third one, uh, I can talk about pension for example given in the Andhra Pradesh and Telangana have significantly benefited uh, weaker sections. So that thing. Politically also it should be feasible sir, uh, why because uh, it's not just one government which is giving and the burden is going to be pushed onto the second government. Once it is given now, so people always expect the future governments also to give it. So there is going to have a long term impact politically also. Okay, as someone holding uh, land and also interested in agriculture. Yes sir. Uh, would you prefer, because now debate is going on in the country, would you prefer minimum support price for your agriculture produce? Or you want to direct benefit transfer in the form of you know, whatever name is there, like the one who so. probably in AP there is some other name, isn't it? So what do you, you as, a, as an agriculturist, what do you take? You take you want MSP, is your vote for MSP or is your vote for DVD? So if you want to take one thing, I'll prefer uh, the minimum support price. Uh, given to the farmers Why? because farmers after lots of uh, hard work they produce some agriculture produce now if they can assure some minimum prices for their output definitely that will help the farmers to invest in future also invest for the agriculture also to meet the consumption expenditure also to meet their uh, social norms uh, but uh, the input support scheme which is targeted which is given in the recent times uh, may not be sufficient for the farmers uh, to invest in agriculture first of all and second one it, uh, it is also difficult for the government to target the small and marginal farmers uh, so they have their own advantages and disadvantages but I would prefer to go for a minimum support price. One, it is giving uh, better returns for the farmers, giving them some sort of assurance that government is there to buy the produce. And it will also reduce distress sale from the uh, community, also farming community. And it will also help uh, the, the government to better plan the, uh, the agriculture, uh, harvesting agriculture produce. Say for example, pulses, uh, where we have more demand and less uh, production. If government can increase MSP, definitely it will send some signal to the farmers to produce more pulses. So thinking from this perspective, uh, it will benefit both the farmers, society as well as the government also. I have also come across some views, some critics, particularly the economists, agriculture economists, agro economists, yes. They are saying this MSC will cause you know some inflationary tendency, yes, and then it also makes uh, you know food grains more uh, expensive yes, sir. for consumers. And so, yes, sir. so how do we get that scenario? Yes, sir.
definitely increasing MSP means uh, increasing the uh, price payment to the farmers, ultimately leading to the inflationary tendencies. Uh, but at present, uh, as recommended by the MS Farm Learning Commission, that MSP should be 1.5 times the cost of production. We are no, uh, no way to that extent of 1.5 times the cost of production. Uh, coming to the inflationary aspect, uh, with the proper uh, cold storage facilities, proper uh, marketing facilities, government can reduce the uh, wastage because almost 18 to 20 percent of agriculture produce is going waste, which is leading to inflationary tendencies in the economy. So, if MSP is increased, we should also take initiatives uh, to strengthen the infrastructure so that the farmer to the consumer, the wastage is reduced and even the intermediaries are reduced. So this way we can tackle some inflationary tendencies in the economy. Let's assume you are a civil servant tomorrow. Sure. And then there is a situation where, you know, after a long hard day, you are unwinding yourself sure. in the privacy of your house. Sure. Okay? Having a couple of rounds of liquor and uh, with nice music playing and all that. Okay? And suddenly there is an issue which boss says now, Mr. Rahul Kumar, now it is for you to go there and handle the situation. So, what do you do? And mind you, you are known for your all good habits, you are a very good you know, officer, and you are, you are never seen even smoking or you are never known as a person who drinks and all that. So, you have already built up such a wonderful image. In the district, let us say. Sure. Now, here is a situation where your boss says, I need to come go and physically handle the situation. What, you, what are the options available? So, you can take a minute and sure. think of. So, the first option is that. Uh, Listening to my boss' views and boss' order, and uh, heeding to that order, and presenting myself at that uh, place. Uh, second option is to, like, if you can elaborate on the pros and cons also, I'll do that, sir. If you want me to do that. Yeah, well, I'm just presenting a hypothetical situation yes, to you. Yes, sir. And you are known as a, probably as a teetotaler, yes, as a yes, person, mm -hmm. an officer with all good habits. Now, but in the privacy on that particular day, probably you just wanted to unwind that. Yes. Somehow you did not want uh, that kind of that image that you have already developed, yes, that perceived yes, image. Yes, sir. Did not you did not want that image to be dissolved on yes, that particular day. Yes. The first option is that I will be presenting myself at that uh, place, heeding to my boss orders. Uh, this will help me to listen to my boss' views and also sustain the image which I have. And uh, also, if it is in the larger public interest, uh, the people's interest, or having some issues, I'll definitely be there uh, to do my constitutional duties. Uh, second option would be to convince my boss that uh, uh, I could not come over, I could not listen to your order because of some personal uh, uh, emergency, personal urgency. Uh, this option may be in the, my self-interest, uh, uh, but uh, this will be against to my concerns also because uh, I am chilling out there and uh, uh, having some good time. But uh, uh, if, don't, if I don't heed that word, uh, it may impact my concerns also. So I may not go to that option. Uh, third one, I'll, uh, I would ask my boss also to uh, consider other person uh, who can do that duty. So, which will compromise on both the things that I'll have some fun time and also uh, uh, go that uh, to that place if it is important. Uh, for also do some uh, Rayasima cuisine cooking. What is so peculiar about Rayasima cuisine? We are curious. The Rayasima cuisine is. Uh, is there something called Rayasima cuisine? Yes, sir. There is a what cuisine is called Rayasima cuisine from other cuisine. So, Ralsima cuisine is more uh, military rich uh, cuisine, sir. We have uh, ragi, sangati as a major thing. Jonarotta. Uh, so, it's a military rich uh, cuisine. Um, I got this interest from my family who has uh, this habit of uh, military rich uh, cuisine. So, I developed that interest. Slowly, I'm more comfortable in having that. Uh, 
so whenever I get some time, I spent uh, doing some ragi sangati or dal and all. Good. Uh, we've taken a little more than 30, 32 minutes. Yes, the actual interview will be about 25 minutes. Yes, now we'll give you yes, some feedback. You're pleasing. You are cool. You are quite well informed. Yes, the various matters. Thank you, sir. I find nothing wrong with you. Sir. Ultimately, you are entering to IAS depends on the marks that you score in the mains. Yes, sir. Otherwise, you are okay. Yes, sir. Of course, uh, Maybe in some matters, yes, you require a little more of information. Information, yes sir, I feel this. Sometimes when you, the question is such that you are not very sure of the answer, yes, sir. you may escape by saying, sorry sir, I don't know. Yes, sir. Then they will go to some other question. The technique of, or the art of inter, an interview yes, sir. is for the interview person to draw the interviewer into your strong field. Yes, sir. So you should uh, all the while create such a situation that the questions will be on your strong points, whatever they are. Yes, sir. Because initially the questions will be based on the detailed application. What is easy to notice are the hobbies. Yes, so we started with that. Yes, sir. And then they went on to various things. When is the interview? March 27th, sir. Okay, great. So he will, all of them will give their yes, own feedback. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I think uh, you, you are able to structure your answers very well. Yes, thank you. You are improving our appetite to listen to you. Yes, sir. Your content of the answers is also quite good. Whenever you didn't know, yes, sir. Uh, perhaps as the chairman said, you could have said, I don't know the difference, yes, I can yes, make out. So, well structured and... So, one thing, sir, like, can I... You can again, you can raise questions. Okay, so, okay, okay, yes, yes, thank you. We'll give you a chance yes, for yes. you to ask us. Yeah. Uh, this uh, Dean University is one, yes, which is run as an educational institution for the educational institution for five years. Okay, for a period of five years, where UGC recognizes as Dean. Dean University, okay. For starting a private university, you can start on day one. Provided yes. there is an enabling registration in the state concerned okay, to set up private university, factually. Okay, 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 then on this important question of freebies versus welfare yes. measures, your content of the answer was right. Yes. You also said uh, something which is very relevant, but examples you were doubtful. Examples are fine. Yes. If you say it's like investment on social capital. Yes. Sir. Which would give you returns, like if you invest yes. on water, yes. your research burden will come down, your medical expenditure will come down. Yes. If you invest on education, yes. which is a social capital, you are investing, okay? Yes, sir. You can reap on the population dividend. Yes, sir. Whereas, because of salaries or dhotis, yes, sir. it is a so short term measure. So, if you keep that social capital in mind, yes, you are investing instead yes. of giving freebies. Free yes. That's all. All yes, the best. Yes, thank you, sir. Nothing much wrong with you. Yes, you are okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sir. Uh, some points which I would like to just keep in mind. Yes, sir. Modulate your tone a little bit. Down, sir. Ah, modulate. modulate means modulate. wherever required, raise. Yes, yes, wherever yes, not required, thank lower. Yes, sir. So that there is an, an emotion or enthusiasm yes, imparted. Yes, sir. You are almost speaking like a robot. Uh, <laughs> so you are not emotional. A certain amount of emotional contention. Yes, See, if the topic is something yes, that is dear to you, yes, you may right. speak a little more animated. Yes, sir. Yeah. Shoot, sir. Shoot, a little sir. more interest. Yes, sir. Shoot, sir. Right. Invest yes. some of your emotion into it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> See, yeah, probably we are human beings. Yes, sir. So, instead of curbing or curtailing the. My, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Somewhere down the line, I think you are fond of the middle ground policy. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, that is play safe. Play safe, yes, sir. So, that leads on to what he asked certain question. Your 
for having a yeah. drink and uh, yes, sir. Uh, you have analyzed it but wonderfully well without taking the dish. Yes, sir. You didn't say which course you were Like first course I <laughs> thought I would do it. But yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To take a dish, it requires some guts. Yes. Whether right or wrong, that is a subsequent matter. Yes, sir. But take decision making is the quality of an ass of so which is required. I'll do it. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. And middle ground to hota hi nahi hai. Committed hota hai. Yes, sir. Middle ground comes in okay. Some issues. Yes, sir. You know. Yes, sir. You should not provoke any issues. Little bit, little bit. Little okay, sir. But in this kind of things are yes, everywhere. Yes, sir. I, it will yes, not buy you. Sure. Right? Yes, sir. So this is my two major things. Avoid monotone. Don't be occupied middle ground. Yes, sir. Very often, more than the necessary, and take a decision. Yes. Precise and responsible. Yes, okay. Yes, Otherwise, you are okay. Good. Yes, yeah. Thank you. Sir. Just wanted to supplement on the situation that yes. he has given. Yes, you have thought of so much. You should have said, I'll take a trip to a shower and then go and no, jump yes, into yes, action. Yes, That's sir. it. The server is asking about the options yes. available to you. Means no, only you should, you should say, I'll take a bath, and take a shower, yes, and go and go. Uh, attend to no, the There are no options because yes, yes, your value system is. <laughs> The question of somebody else coming should okay. not arise. I am there, I can handle it. Yes, sir. That's it. And, and you are never so drunk, even if you drink, for yes, instance, yes, that you will not be able to discharge your duties as a yes, public servant. Yes, I know. And in fact, tell you what you are saying, this is a very good thing. You will be sober as a mark. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so, but you go to that sea. Yes, <laughs> Yeah, they want to be drunk. No, they want to be drunk. They want to be drunk. They want to be drunk. And music. Yes, so, listen to enjoying music. music yes. So, that means you are in a proper frame of mind. Yes. Okay, yes, you are not uh, having any pent up anger. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You don't overreact. <laughs> you will assess and respond. Yes, sir. So, I thought uh, I, uh, I should give various options. Uh, what to, uh, See, for somebody like us, yes, there sir. are no options. Yes, to dive, that's all. That's yes, all. Because yes, duty first. Duty first. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Good content wise, uh, I was expecting this. Actually, yes. many people are of the view that MSP should be the right thing rather than giving money by way of Raitu Bandhu. Yes, sir. What you have in Andhra, some other. That is uh, Raitu Barosa. Raitu Barosa. Uh, but uh, that is only given to the, the legal land owner. Owners, yes, sir. Whereas there are cultivators. Tenancy, uh, tenancy yeah. farm. A lot of money is going to be wasted. Yes. The content wise and uh, is good, really. Uh, your understanding of issues is uh, really, very really mature. Thank you. Values. Thank you. Sir. All the best. Now you ask what yes. you want. Yes. 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 The first question is, uh, can I use the word sorry? Yeah, but for what? For what? Like if I don't know the question, like I have not I never. Okay, okay. Yeah. Sorry, sir, I don't yes. know. Yes, sir. Ah, you can say that. Yes, sir. No problem. No problem. I See, don't. first of all, the entire personality test yes, sir. is not intended to test your knowledge. Knowledge, yes, sir. That has already been tested yes, sir. in the prelims as well as the mains. Yes, sir. This is to examine your suitability to be an IAS officer or a public servant yes, sir. on behalf of the government. The government. Yes, sir. So they will be looking for skills like, are you a good listener? Do you have empathy? Preferably in respect to the poor and downtrodden. Yes. Do you understand the issues? Okay. Okay. Are you a person who relishes contributing to the better being of the society yes. and members of the society? Yes. If you don't like people, yes. if you want to avoid people, then government service is not for you. Okay. You should live in isolation somewhere. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, this is what they are testing. Yes, okay, sir. They are not too bothered whether I am. Now I am going to ask, let us say, yes, can you tell me the 34th ayat of Quran Sharif? No, sir. Sorry, sir, yes, sir. I don't know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or what uh, Lord Krishna said in Bhagavad Gita. Like the 132nd stanza. <laughs> if you don't know, you don't know. That's yes, it. Never read it. Sir. Yes, sir. Don't bother. Yes, sir. You didn't read it. What is so odd? Does it uh, deprive you of being a Hindu? No. No. 
So there is no problem. nothing wrong in admitting, admitting. Uh, that you either you don't know yes, or sir. you never read it or even never heard of it. Yes, sir. What is the second question? Second question is with respect to my teaching, sir. Uh, like I've been teaching mental, some institutes and, 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 and no, you almost use the word called mentoring. Mentoring, I I do that, sir. But don't do it. Don't do it don't because okay. you are not qualified. Yeah. Okay. Mentoring comes for somebody like him. Yes, sir. Yes. Who has been successful? Okay, sir. You are yourself groping in the dark. dark. Yes, sir. You are an aspirant yourself. Yes, sir. So uh, my advice is don't use such word. words. Word. Okay, sir. And don't talk about these things. Sir. Simply say, I have been seriously preparing, sir. Okay, sir. Occasionally assisting my father. Okay, sir. Are you sitting at home or in Tirupati? Here only, sir. Hyderabad only, sir. Okay, so you say I am sitting in uh, Hyderabad. I have taken some accommodation in Hyderabad. I have yes, been sir. preparing seriously. Yes, sir. And occasionally going home and helping. Yes, sir. Don't say about sure, the so called mentoring and yes, this yes, and yes, that. Yes, sir. Uh, that makes uh, everybody. Believe that you, have, you think very highly of yourself. Yes, sir. Such an extent that you will matter without becoming an heir of the yourself. Yes, sir. Don't bother about such. Yes, sir. Hide them. Then what? Connecting the same question, sir. Like I am, I've almost spent uh, seven years, eight years. Uh, I, one question I think of myself is: Is it a wastage of natural, nation resource, or uh, I, 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 am I wasting my? Uh, there is no direct answer to that. That yes, only shows I, two possibilities. <coughs> First is you have perseverance. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. The second is you are willing to take the pains required yes, sir. to continue to maintain that morale. Yes, sir. See, it's like a battle. Yes, sir. In that battle, you already lost seven times. Let us. Yes, sir. Still, you want to go for the eighth time for the battle. Yes, sir. Of course, with better preparation. Yes, sir. So that what does it show? It shows a high degree of morale and an awareness of your own capacities. You have not uh, done what is called retired hurt. Yes. It's not as though you said, I am not IAS material. Yes. Let me now take care of some other job. Yes. So it has its own positive things, but it has its own negative, negative things, things also. Yes. Be that as it may, the yes. UPSC board is not going to judge you on the number of attempts. Okay, there are all India first fellows who got it in the fourth attempt. Yes, sir. So it all depends. There are many factors involved, including a 10% luck. Yes, but 90% is preparation. And that requires a lot of uh, okay. morale, morale yes. motivation, uh, without allowing so many stray thoughts, which go on discouraged. Yes, sir. So this is not for me. Yes, sir. So you have, you, have, you have been able to persevere. Yes. So you have that capacity, yes. tenacity. Yes. Surprising, you are asking yourself that question and still going ahead. Yes, sir. I'm asking myself. Uh, so you, you want a reassurance? Uh, don't bother. You have come up to the last point yes, now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have nothing to lose, isn't it? Yes, you have now come up to the personality test. Yes, you have no more chances. Yes, Why do you want to now think about all those? No, no, you <laughs> go, when is your interview? 27, sir. March 27. Uh, and uh, once for all, the destiny will decide yes, sir. whether you yes, will, you will uh, get it or not. Yes, Even if you don't get it, you are not going to have any more attempts. No, sir. It's a, a futile exercise yes, to unnecessarily think of such things yeah. at this juncture. You have come this far yes. and it's not easy. No, I want to hear from your wisdom, sir, like how to answer that question, how to tackle that question. Because if I am answering, I am just giving some emotional outbursts, like I am doing this for the last seven years. Uh, no, no, you, you, can myself. Yes, sir. you can say that yes, for some reasons. Yes, sir. I could not clear, clear this. Uh, come up to this far. Yes, yes, sir. This is my second interview. Yes, sir. And I feel I have the required knowledge base, yes, sir. tenacity, <coughs> and ability yes, sir. to be successful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any other questions? That's it. Thank you, sir. Initially, you were a bit slow and very tentative. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. Picked up later. Yes, sir. And uh, you almost, you know, it went on very smoothly. Okay, sir. Thank there you, sir. was some kind of a natural flow in your yes, answers. Sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Which we could see. So you came into your own. Yes, sir. So your metal was uh, you know, showing up. Yes, sir. That's a good thing.
కడప సార్ విద్యామందర్ ఇంగ్లీష్ మీడియం హై స్కూల్ కడప డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ కడప టౌన్ తెలుగు ఇట్స్ మలయాళీ సార్ Anything else? Nothing. All sir. the best. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.